Chris's Magic. Thank you so much for watching. It's a tutorial this week, so if you like this, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, add any comments, suggestions, feedback into the comments section, and also add into the comments section if you tried this and if you were able to do it. We're really interested to know how that went on. So, tutorial, like I say, and it's on a bit of card control, the double lift, one of the most used, I guess, card controls, slides, whatever you want to call it, in Magic is used in so many tricks. Uh, I use it all the time, and it looks something like this. Like so. So there are a few ways to do this. That's obviously one way. There's three ways that I know. I'll show you all three of them. Uh, the first two, I'm not very good at, and so therefore I don't really use them. But essentially what you're doing with a double lift is obviously, as it says, you're picking up two cards as one, and you're showing this card as the top card. Uh, and then the magic effect is you then actually pick up the real top card and it has changed in the view of the spectator. So here, here is part one, or, or method one. And what you do is you pick up two cards as one, like so, and then you put your middle finger, uh, your little finger, sorry, in between them, and you get a little break, and then you're able to pick up the two cards as one. And generally, what you should be doing is as you pick them up and display them is how you would do normally. So you'll see this when uh, I, I do the one that I use. So you flop it over and then you flop it over again and then deal it off. And that is the top card. Uh, the second way is when you spread the deck like this or spread a few cards you get your middle finger, little finger, sorry, under the second bottom card, so you can see that's the ace there. And as you square them up, you've then got that little break again. Here. And then you lift them up and display them. So that is the first one, the first two, sorry. So the first one, you pick up two cards then display them. Second one is you spread them along, get a break under the second card. The reason I don't like those is they're a bit too clunky. So you would obviously be doing all of these slights and the double lift as you're talking or looking the spectator in the eye. So logically they're looking at you rather than the cards. So you can do those. But the one that I like is a lot less detectable, I think, anyway. Uh, and what you're doing here is you're holding it in this mechanics grip, you're beveling slightly so you can see, you can't, but it's kind of bent, certainly the top, and with your pinky finger, you're just riffling off two cards, and you'll be able to see this, I'll do it slowly, that's jumped up, that's jumped up, and then you get the little break, and if you lift it up with your two fingers here, and put those underneath, push up with these two fingers, down with your thumb. As you push them off, you'll see that there is no, uh, let me get the camera. Here, you can't see that there's two cards because the pressure of the fingers being put up and, pu and the thumb down are pushing them off. You then slide them out. And to make it easier to pick up, I make sure I've levered them and got a break with the, one of these fingers, doesn't matter which. Uh, so therefore you don't have to slide it off again. And then you can just flop them down and then show the actual top guard and it's changed. So that's the one that I use and in real time it looks like so. So there are the three methods. Like I say, just to recap, first one, pick up two, get a break with your pinky, then display them. Second one, uh, spread 
them so you get a break under the second one as you square them up. I didn't do that very well. Let me do that again. Second one, get a break. So you can see that's a bit clunky, certainly how I do it anyway. And the third one, bevel them down, pull down with your, your pinky finger, that will bevel the cards, but you can't quite see that. You can see they're slightly bent. Uh, so pull down, that will bevel the cards. And I didn't do that very well either. Count off two cards, put your, your middle ring finger underneath, push up with those two, down on the thumb, push off, and that hasn't worked either. It's quite difficult to do this slowly. But lever up with one of these fingers, the ring finger or the middle finger, push up with those, down on the thumb, and as you spread, they won't break. They'll look as one. And then you show that one. Obviously, you do these a lot quicker than that. So, like I say, in real time. And so you can even cause a break with a thumb there and then lift them up. But essentially, that's how you do it. So they're the three main methods. Two cards as one pull up with your thumb, spread them, get a break when you pull them together, flick down with, uh, essentially count the cards with your pinky finger, push up with the mid ring and middle finger down with the thumb, spread them, and then flip them back over, display the top card. So that is essentially the tutorial for the double lift. Uh, three tutorials there. Uh, my advice would just be practice them all, use whichever you feel most comfortable with. I say the first two are a bit clunky. That's probably just how I do them. Uh, so there'll be plenty of magicians out there if you look on YouTube and everything like that who use those two and they don't look clunky at all. Uh, it's just my preference. And obviously, like I say, you'll be doing this double lift generally when the focus of the spectator is not on your hands, it's on you talking, uh, you, you're looking at them, or you can move your hands as you do them. So if you move, so with the one that I do, if you hold your hand still, you can sometimes see the card move up. If you move your hand as you talk, so do, 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 you can't see that move up, flick up, sorry. So it's entirely... Uh, preference uh give them a try all three a try let me know how you get on and if you're able to do them and if you found the tutorial helpful if you like any more card control tutorials let me know in the comments section be back next week most likely a trick but if you want a tutorial hit me up in the comment section and let me know what kind of tutorial you'd want see you next week thanks for watching